Like I said, y'all, y'all been seeing the face. It's been what? Sitting. Thank you. Hey gems, it's your girl Jamima, and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing a Sephora recommendations video. Um, you guys know Sephora has their twice annual uh, sale where they have a promotion for their insider beauty insider. Girl, you act like I haven't been shopping at Sephora for the past 15 some years. Beauty insider program. So Rouge always has first dibs. I think they start on the 28th and then a couple days later the rest is it? Oh my god, I really can't remember the tiers. What what are the tiers? Is Rouge there's Beauty Insider to Rouge? Child, I don't know. Oh my god. Wow, this is a janky AF video. Like didn't do my research. Didn't think I would need to. Like you would think I'd be able to do this off the dome. Child, it's giving sad. The point is, child, Sephora's having a sale, okay? Rack up the products now while you get a little discount. This is the best time to try the things that you've been putting off. This is the best time to stock up on your essentials. And I'm gonna give you both of them, okay? But before we get started, are you subscribed? Are you part of the Gem Squad? Cause you all up in my video trying to get the tea on these products. Are you not even subscribed? Child, you, you are fake, okay? Go ahead, subscribe. Now let's get started. So I have a lot of makeup, but I also have body care, I have skincare, but I don't have fragrance. I decided to make that a separate video since I also want to do a fragrance haul. And I kind of want to give y'all some like potential layering, like combinations as well. So that's going to be in a different video coming soon. But for today's video, it's going to be makeup, skincare, and body care. So let's just jump right into it. I'm just going to pick stuff up and go because, child, <laughs> first of all, I'm excited, okay? And after I show y'all my recommendations, I'm going to give y'all a little teaser of what I have in my cart because, baby, I have been waiting for the sale forever. So when I tell you I'm about to go ham, please know that I'm going to go ham, okay? It's giving Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, ham for the table, ham for a uh, family of 30, period. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we're going to start with this concealer, the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Concealer. I have been ranting and raving about this product ever since I first tried it, honey. Now... If you haven't tried the foundation version of this, please stop playing yourself and try that immediately. So I, the name was when that put me on to the foundation. After I was like, oh, this is bomb. And then I found out they came out with the concealer. I said, I need to try this. And when I get concealers, I tend to get a, a regular like skin tone shade. I get a, a highlighting shade and I also get like a cream contour shade. Listen, one thing about the Sephora uh, concealer, Get your hands on it as soon as it's in stock because it will sell out. So this is like a um, slightly my skin toned, slightly brighter kind of shade. So this is really a one stop shop for me. I can just use this and be okay. But like I said, like I, I usually try to go for three, baby, out of stock. Okay. Now the good thing about this sale is that all Sephora brand products are thirty percent off. I think Rouge gets twenty. The second tier down gets 15 and Beauty Insider gets 10. But Sephora brand products are always 30. So that, now is the time to try it out. They have, they have amazing blushes. The concealer is fire. The foundation is fire. Going into the next product, the Sephora brand uh, eyebrow pencil. I swear the best eyebrow pencils in my opinion are the store brand ones because they hit every single time. I'm not going to lie. They, these are fire. The ultimate. But I really like these. Um, I feel like I used to have one that had like a comb on the end instead of a, a brush, like a spoolie situation. I'm not sure. But I like these because they're waterproof. They're more of a dry brush so that you can get those nice like hair-like strokes onto the brow. It doesn't make the brow greasy. I mean, I, I tend to put powder on my brows now anyways, just in case. But like, I don't like a greasy brow pencil, a waxy brow pencil. I need something that's going to be dry so that I can like shape the brow and draw the hairs without making it look super like drawn on it. And, and you know, 
fake. So I actually really love the Sephora brown pencils for that. They have a slew of uh, color options. Whatever you like, they gonna have it, girl. This is another product that tends to sell out. So once you can get your hands on it, please stock up. Now is the time. Dang, is Sephora sponsored this video? Another Sephora brand product, 30% off. Baby, listen, when I tell y'all I have been rocking with this powder, pan, honey, pan, please, pan. I am scraping this powder to get what's left to put on this face, honey. I have been using this powder ever since I transitioned from the MAC Skin Finish. I swear, this is in every video. And it's going to continue to be because I, I'm not going to stop raving about it. It's literally the perfect powder. It's just enough coverage to add a little something, but it doesn't add too much color. Okay? So I like this because, especially when I'm like traveling or I'm in the sun or something and I have a tan, I go between two powders because this can cover a pretty decent range of skin tones whereas other like face powders they're like very specific okay child if you are not the color put that powder down okay as for this I've had like a real serious tan before I have to switch over to my darker powder and I love that because it's just it's very versatile it's easy to use um, it doesn't add too much coverage so if you have the perfect amount of coverage with your foundation and concealer and stuff this is just going to set it without making you look super dry but still set it well I mean, it's just, she's just that girl, like, for real. She's just that girl. Like, I don't, I don't have enough good words to say about her. Like, she's just amazing. <laughs> I feel like I should go in order of my makeup, like, so it can make sense to me. Um, because now I feel like I'm confusing myself. Why do I feel like this? Well, since we're talking about powders, I'm also going to talk about this makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. This one, I'm gonna sneak her in. I'm gonna sneak her in because um, I don't I don't remember what makeup combination I tried the other day, but the skin was very much giving casket, Casper, left me for dead. Like, I, it just wasn't giving the warmth. I think I had used a super bright yellow powder, something, I did something and my undertones, it was just giving gray. And so I just picked this up and I started applying it and I was like, Wow, I, this powder brought so much color and warmth back into my skin and I feel like if I did not have that great cast, I would never have truly appreciated the appeal of this powder because when your makeup is zen and flawless and stuff, like she just enhances the already flawlessness of the face. But when the face is a mess, you can really see how this powder shines. Now, it's scary because there's glitter particles in here. I'm not gonna hold you. This powder gives MAC mineralized skin finish. The girls that know, no. That powder definitely had glitter in it. It had a little something. It wasn't like huge chunks of glitter, but if you look closely on the skin, you do see that there was some kind of like glitter deposit. Now, I'm usually opposed to it, but not in this case and not in the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish case. Somebody just, it just works for me, okay? So, th that is potentially a con. Also, there is a lot of kickback. I don't know if you guys can see, like, even in the pan right now, I have to be very careful with how I use it. It seems to be a, a very soft, not even soft, soft powder. So you have to be careful. I give it a good swirl because as you can see, it is ombre. And the shades do kind of, you know, mix, which is a good and bad thing. Bad because, of course, I have to swirl it around and stuff, and that's what create all that kickback. But good because you can also play around with the shades. If you want to do, like, a lighter shade underneath the eye, the darker shade underneath the cheek, and then the mix of everything over. Like, it's just, you have options. And a girl, a girl like me likes options. Like, you can't go wrong with options. Period. Oh, I was like ranting about that. Hmm, interesting. Talking some more about powder. <laughs> I have been using and abusing my Huda Beauty powder again. I, y'all know, I was on Laura Mercier train for quite some time. And as much as I was enjoying that powder, I was like, the face isn't giving what it used to give back in the day. Like, the face used to give back in the day, and now my eyes are creasing. I'm like, am I getting older? Is the concealer I'm using? Like, what is the problem? 
So I said, you know what? Before I go get these Botox fillers, <laughs> let me go back to what I was using and see if there's a difference. And maybe ever since I started using this powder again, the creasing has been, when I say diluted down to, like I said, maybe a 10%. And if I really said it well, it's down to a zero. Like Huda just she knows what she's she knows what she's doing. Some people don't like her powders because they are scented. I feel like they used to be stronger back in the day. Like I feel like the scent has definitely toned down. I personally am one of the people that love the scent. It's not like a scent that I would spray as a perfume, but I like it. Something about it is just warm to me. And so I like the fragranced um powder but i completely understand that it could be like problematic for other people so if you do have an issue or like have sensitive skin with fragrance products beware of this but child if you can get this and she has a whole bunch of colors like a whole bunch of shades for all undertones all of the brightness all chocolate skin all the light skins period i have gone back to translucent just because that's what's working best for me right now because my skin don't know what she want to be right now we just she doesn't know what she wants to be. You want to be red, yellow, both, olive, like neutral. Like, what do you want to be? She don't know. So the translucent just gets it right every time. Like, perfect. The perfect balance of both. So the bronzer that I have been loving as of late is the Gucci bronzer. Now, I'm not going to lie. I maybe bought this for the packaging. I maybe bought this so I can say that I have a Gucci bronzer. Um, you know, I... I'm not ashamed to, to, to state my flaws, okay? To show the real me, okay? I, I wanted to say that I had a, a Gucci bronzer. I did. And then it was cute. Like, look at the color. It's the packaging for me. Look at the color. Hello. It's giving 70s vibes. It's giving that 70s show vibes. Okay, it's giving floral wallpaper, green couch, yellow carpet. Please, landline that you have to roll. Come on. And it's just so like nostalgic. As if I was alive back then. Girl, nostalgic about what? To my surprise, this is one of the most beautiful bronzers that I have ever tried. And I hate that this is the deepest shade. At least that they carry in Sephora. But just look, look, look at the color. The the warmth. Like the oh, the beautiful undertones. The way this adds like a flush of bronziness to the face and I just why why is this the deepest shade please in this 2022 please but she's so pretty and I'm just like wow I'm so glad that in my um packaging purchase this actually turned out to be an amazing product and I love like look at the little details in the powder I don't know if you can see like hello she's so cute i love her i've never actually yes i have <gasps> how cute is it there's a mirror but it's gold oh that's so cool <gasps> oh wow i actually really like that that is so gucci know what they're doing all of this is mirrored gucci knows what they're doing kind of where's the rest of the shade range Clearly, y'all don't try to when it comes to that. But child, if if this comes to your shade range, just try it. Like this is so. Actually, I think this might be the only contour bronzer situation I'm wearing today. I usually like to pair this. I'm well, not say usually, but maybe like half and half. I'll pair this with like a contour shade and just use this to bronze. But when I tell you, she makes such a significant change in my makeup love it absolutely love it speaking of contour darling one thing about patrick motherfucker star okay he gonna make you a little uh palette that's gonna work okay once again y'all know my skin tone varies depending on my, my uh sunbathing tendencies okay and I love this palette because, like, literally, I can get everything that I need from this. Now, don't want to be extra bring my Gucci bronzer? Yes. But could I just do everything I need with this? Yes. <laughs> this shade right here, look at how deep this is. Like, look at how deep this shade is. Absolutely love it. 
And I love that I can also mix these two to get the perfect bronzer shade. When I'm at my like my palest palest, I can just use this. You know, when I move up on the scale, I can use this or mix it. And listen, what about me? I have no problems mixing to get my shade. Okay, going back to my anyway days. <laughs> Um, but I just, I just really love this palette. Like, it's just the perfect shades to mix and match for chocolate skin. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, just, ugh. Please. Patrick did that. He really did that. And in the packaging, it's all red and stuff. And in the big mirror, like, it's just, it's really nice. It's really nice. Now, if, if, if you've been watching for quite some time, you know that I am a huge fan of Pat McGrath. And her blushes, please, please, please. Pat McGrath blushes, are you kidding me? Please. Um, yeah, this one has been my favorite as of late. It's like my perfect, natural, neutral, just healthy skin blush. Don't wanna do too much, just wanna be subtle. Wanna be glowy and bronzy, but not really wanna show you how. I just wanna show up and it's just like, wow, like she just looks healthy loved happy and you, you know you don't really you can't really pinpoint the source this is what that blush is for me now i feel like it's coming off pinky on camera when i first purchased this and i opened this i was like mm, i don't know what this shade is giving right here it's giving that's, that's for my vanilla bean girlies and um i was concerned i was concerned i said am i just gonna have to use this, this shade right here like what's tea but baby, when you give that a uh, mix, it is the most beautiful, like, mauvey, corally, pinky hue on the cheek. And it's just so pretty. Like, I, I can't, I just, she's just so pretty. Like, it's very natural looking, but it's so pretty. Like, I just, I literally cannot get enough. But like I said, all her blushes are fire. Like, all of them, all of them are fire. Pigmented, vibrant, beautiful, blends beautifully on the squid. Like, Pat, Auntie Pat, stop playing with me, sus. Adopt me. Now, I know the girls aren't really wearing highlighter as much. People usually like to go for dewy skin more so in the summertime. But in the winter, my skin's a little drier. It's a little thirstier. It makes me want to reach more for glowy products. Ain't that's gonna make me look hydrated? Like, please, give it to me. So I feel like I'm always on the opposite. Like in the winter, I'm running towards highlighting products and that's gonna make me look glowy. So I have been loving cheek like blush toppers. Though I don't think they're necessarily labeled as that. Like, okay, so one of them is the Bare Minerals Blonzer. It's supposed to be a bronzer and blush at the same time. Um, I use this alone by itself sometimes. Beautiful shade right here. This is Kiss of Rose. I think they have a copper one and like a lighter pink one. This is absolutely stunning. I can use this alone or I'll use this like on top of a blush to add like a little razzle dazzle, a little sheen. Um, I've also been really loving the House Lab. These are highlighters technically, I believe. Yeah, powder highlighters. Putting these beautiful bronzy shades on top of your blush. The way the cheek, especially in the sunlight, if y'all watch the vlogs, y'all know the face been sitting lately, bruh. It's been sitting, I mean, it been sitting, period, but it's been like sitting, like plopping down. Can't nobody get me out this chair sitting, okay? And I'm like, little details like this, like adding a little something to the cheek. Oh, when it captures the sunlight, please, it's giving angel, goddess mermaid like I, I don't even know unicorn <laughs> it looks so freaking good and i'm obsessed they just put a little bit of highlight right on top of the cheek excuse me pardon me beyonce has entered the room jayonce please stop it stop so i figured this is like an honorary mention i have been heavy on my sephora concealer kick lately but i gotta give it up for the Too faced bonus weight concealer because i have been rocking with this concealer for so long and no matter how many beautiful concealers i use like the huda beauty concealer is amazing as well she's just she's just that girl for me like the way the mac pro concealer was for me at that era my MAC Prime Era. I feel like in my Sephora Prime Era, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer is that girl. Like she, she 
First of all, shout out to Too Faced for being the first brand to give you a decent amount of concealer in, in a pot or container, whatever, and um, at a decent price. And it's full coverage and it's light, so it's not like thick underneath the eyes, so it blends well, doesn't get stuck in the creases. Like it's just, I'm sorry. This, especially the, the shade Butterscotch, this is my favorite brightening shade. This paired with any concealer, magnificent. Like even with my Sephora, uh, uh, better than skin situation this as a, a bright please top tier like i said y'all y'all been seeing the face it's been what sitting thank you now this sponge right here this sponge right here let me tell you something i feel like i told this story in a vlog i don't know what's which one's gonna come out first but basically, I didn't realize that I had never tried the authentic beauty blender until, I don't know if y'all watch Peyton. Peyton mentioned that she had tried it and it was game changing for her. And I was like, you know, like, I've used so many sponges, so many different kinds of sponges. I'm just like, like, how big of a difference can a beauty blender be? Bruv, bruv, please. I don't understand what kind of sorcery is in this thing. And I cannot believe that I've been calling other sponges dupes for so long because they're not. Just because it's shaped the same, just because they write that they do the same, doesn't that mean that they are the same? They're not even anywhere close, period. This beauty blender has literally switched up my blending game. Like, blending concealer is so beautiful it's like art now like i i there are no words to explain watching the concealers like melt on the skin please i my new i haven't really switched any new concealers the only difference is the applicator beautiful like when i tell y'all i am obsessed with this beauty blender now child i if you would have said jamima spending 20 dollars on a, on a sponge well, she can get a six pack for four nine nine at TJ Maxx. <laughs> I'm about to throw away every single sponge that I have and stock up on these because there is no way I have been playing myself. I've been low vibration. I'm in low vibration, okay? My plate was low vibration. It's time for me to raise it up, okay? It's time for me to think big, think big, bitch. <laughs> And so as soon as the stale comes up, I'm cheating right now, but yes, I'm stocking up on all the beauty blender sets. I don't care. When I tell you I'm, I'm, I'm willing to spend a, a couple hundreds stocking up because I'm not playing with y'all no more. And I'm not playing with myself no more. These sponges, game changer. The true authentic beauty blender, like, wow. Amazing, seriously amazing. Man, these brands, y'all could duplicate, no. Y'all can imitate, but y'all can't duplicate. Man. Period. For the eyes, darling, I have been absolutely loving the one size fantasized mascara. Now, I always thought I would be a benefit there, real girl. That was my favorite concealer, not concealer, <laughs> mascara for the longest time. Just because I felt like it gave me like those beautiful, like spidery lashes. But baby, one size came and gave the girls some competition and I have not been able to put this down since, okay? It doesn't like flake off the eyes. Um, I don't know if it's waterproof, but I don't have any issues with it at all. And it comes off just fine with my makeup remover. So like, it's... This is just one of the top tier masks. I tell, I'm telling y'all, Patrick know what he doing. One of the best mascaras on the market right now, period, period. Period. So for the lips, we're gonna go ahead and do this together. Um, I have been obsessed with the Rare Beauty lip liner in the shade Strong. Shout out to Rare Beauty for having a brown lip liner. Thank you so much. And the Gwen Stefani lipsticks, I have two of these. <gasps> Oh, uh, this is, I messed this up somehow. It's not even a circle anymore. Y'all, this is floating around my bag with no cat. No cat. <laughs> um, These Gwen Stefani lipsticks are so freaking amazing. I bought two shades. 
on a whim, mainly because I love the packaging. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a packaging kind of girl. But don't you love when you buy something for packaging and the product ends up being freaking amazing? Yeah, that's her. Um, I find that I do have to swipe a couple of times to get the full build up that I want, but it's absolutely worth it. The longevity is absolutely worth it. The way it sits on the lips, absolutely worth it. Am I going to get more shades? Absolutely, because it's worth it. Yeah. I really wish they would um, extend their shade range though. They have like five colors. They have like two nudes, um, a red, a berry-ish color. I could just want to have like a, like a fuchsia pinky shade, but I don't remember exactly. All I do know is after this sale, I'm gonna have all of them. That's all I know. Okay, moving on. Oh, that's that's it for makeup. So, oh, yo, we're we're doing good on time. Oh, period. Yeah, let's go. For skincare, I have two products here. I mean, listen, a lot of these products y'all have seen, y'all probably like tired of hearing about them, but that's how I know I love them and I stand them for real. The Super Goop Every Single Face SPF, please. Nobody else stands a chance. Nobody else compares. Nobody else does what she does. She is missing. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like y'all, that super, super good is scamming us because why is this like thirty-something dollars, and my big gallon SPF is like fifty? Please explain yourself quickly. Let me show y'all the size of a gallon. Like it's ridiculous. Are you serious? Like thirty-four dollars or something like that. Fifty-eight. So basically, they're twice the price, but it's like four times the size. Like, super good. Y'all are taxing literally just because it says for face. Y'all are taxing ridiculously. Hate that for you. Hate that for me. Okay. But I love this SPF so much. <laughs> um, this one's good too, but this one is a little bit more on the glowier side. So if you have dry skin, then this is a good one. But this one leaves no white cast, doesn't burn my eyes, doesn't clog my pores. SPF 50. Like, it's just. It's it's a heavy on no cast for me because even the SPF that they say have no cast, it like makes me look gray. Like it just has this the slightest change to my undertone that makes me look like Casper, and I feel like I'm the only one that sees it. But with this one, I get none of that. This will forever be my favorite, my number one recommendation for brown skin girls, for all the girls. Okay, this is always my favorite uh, SPF and my number one recommended. SPF, like please get you some. The other girls is not keeping up, like they're not. I mean, this is good too. This is my summertime fine uh, SPF when I when I'm on the play. Y'all see that super goop play? Okay. Now I also use this on my face from time to time, mainly because I just be upset that this costs so much when it it shouldn't. Cause y'all taxing. But I'm gonna do it again cause it's that good. So next I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. And when I first got this, I was a little skeptical. Um, I've tried Glow Recipe serums before. I think I tried their Vitamin C like Pineapple or something serum. And <clears throat> this was years ago, by the way. And I was not a fan. Like it was heavy on a pineapple. It was giving like um canned pineapple juice. Like even the stickiness and the smell. And y'all, I love pineapple. So I don't know why this was so off-putting for me, but it felt like I was putting pineapple juice on my face. And I did not like that at all. So I was a little wary about trying this, but I am obsessed. I can tell the difference when I use this product and how my skin looks and feels. It just makes it look overall just more healthy. Like my moisture barrier is intact, honey. And the way my makeup melts on my skin after using this, like it's to the point now, oh my God, y'all, I've really been using this. Like it's already like down here. <gasps> oh my God. Y'all, it's so good. I actually went and bought a second bottle to keep in my travel bag. Cause baby, Whatever, anytime I'm on a flight, I'm out of town, it gotta come with me. That's how deep that is, okay? It's to the point now where every time I put my makeup on, I'm putting this on first. Like, I'm putting this on first, moisturizing, and the way my skin just, ugh. And don't let me put my super goof, super goof, <laughs> uh, super goop SPF on top. Wow, please. Glowy skin. 
but controlled because I'm, I'm combination now. So the nose like to be a little oily. So, you know, I like balance, but just a controlled, healthy glow to the skin overall. It's not giving oily. It's not giving sweaty. It's giving like, wow, she takes care of herself. She loves herself. She drinks her water. She minds her business. Okay. Everything that's facts. Thank you so much. <laughs> Is that what's on my teeth? Okay, good. Okay, y'all, so we're getting to the body care. Mm, what do I start with? Let's go to the necessaire. The necessaire body wash, you guys know, I have been raving about necessaire unprovoked for like the past couple of months. Like, I, the bottle's empty. Like, I literally just pulled this out from my shower. I had to put water in this a couple of times. Because one thing about me, I'm a stretch a dime. I'm a stretch a dollar, okay? Do I have like three more waiting for me? Yes. Am I still gonna stretch it? Yes. <laughs> Um, but I really, really enjoy the Necessary Body Wash. My skin loves it. It really does brighten the skin because of the niacinamide in it. The, eu the eucalyptus is my favorite fragrance. Second is probably, ooh, they're all my favorites because I'm like, can I even pick between bergamot and sandalwood? Like they're, they're just all delicious. They have like that nice woody smell to it, unless it's eucalyptus, of course. They also have unscented for the girls that are more sensitive. Like they just, their products are just bomb.com, amazing for the skin. And I love when products also have like skincare properties to them to actually not, not just cleanse your skin, not just moisturize the skin, but to actually improve your skin tone, improve the texture, improve like any discoloration that you might have going on. Cause maybe the, the, the body <clears throat> be going through some things, okay? Speaking of which, I have been using the heck out of the Sol de Genero Bon Dia Bright body wash. <laughs> okay, in my defense, I'm not even going to just say the body wash. I have been using a lot of their products in general and have been thoroughly enjoying it, okay? They're, they have some products that I've tried before where I was like, mm, it's okay, not in love with it, but there are products that they have where I'm just like, okay, like, I might have to smack my mama for this. Like, I'm... I might smack mine and yours, okay? Um, this body wash smells divine. And I picked this up because they, it says it's a clarifying AHA, BHA body wash. Once again, body um, care products with skincare properties, with like skin tone evening properties. Especially for my HS or my, my acne girls. When you have these acids in your body care, it's good for cleaning out the pores. Um, so I love that. And it smells amazing. Please. I mean, it's bum bum de genero. Okay. Oh my god. And I got the scrub. Please. The scrub is a different texture. It's it's fun to use and it has those skincare properties once again. Amazing. Amazing. Love that. Um I have their body sprays. Please. I have been going through Wow. I'm really on the Sol de Genero train right now. Like I've been using so many other products. Last but not least. Which is kind of included in what I was just talking about. Like, first of all, the packaging. Look at this beautiful packaging. Like, come on. Please. Please. Like, I didn't even know they sold, like, a huge value size bum bum cream. Yo, I've been using this, and I'm just like, I feel like I haven't even really put a dent in this. I mean, it's a little bit of a dent. Uh, but it smells delicious. And the way I like to layer this, baby, when I wear this, I'm wearing the heck out the spray and everything, okay? Um, I don't have this full-size body wash. I'm definitely going to get it. But it's just, oh, I love this. Now, I have worn this outside on a chilly day. And personally, I do not find this to be cold weather appropriate. Um, and what I mean by that is that my feet, my feet was still looking like ashy. Okay, when I wear this in the house as a in the house body cream, my skin is soft. I smell good. I feel delicious, amazing. When I go outside, that wind will scoop all that lotion off my feet, and it's like particularly my feet, my dry feet. So I'm like, what is up with that? Um, so I would say beware. If you are going to wear this they actually go outside and you're in a colder weather climate you might want to pair this with an oil perhaps um or just save this for nighttime you know if you just want to smell good without any other razzle dazzle like i just really love this y'all like i just love this my favorite in the house lotion right now that um is my recommendation for the sephora haul now i'm gonna briefly 
uh, scan over the items I'm planning on actually getting. Yeah. Okay, y'all, it's tough because most of my cart um, is perfumes, <laughs> which is scary because it's gonna be a lot of blind buys because so many of them are only available online, which I hate. Like, come on, let me smell them in store. Um, I also have a couple like perfume gift sets. Anyways, that's gonna be in another video. We're gonna focus on a couple things. So, like I said, I'm planning on getting more of the Gwen Stefani lipsticks, for sure. Um, and an hourglass has these face palettes, which I'm very scared to try, but I want to try. So I've been loving the hourglass, um, like the trio palettes. And the only reason why I didn't mention it in this video is because I, I only use one shade and it's like 65 bucks, I believe, maybe more, I'm not sure, but I literally only use it for this one shade. So essentially I paid that much money for this little pan and I don't feel like, oh sorry, this pan right here. <laughs> and I don't feel like I can recommend that to anybody, especially if they look like me because you will not get wear out of this pan. Now if you're of a lighter complexion, this will look amazing on you. Like the bronze, like it's just, it's such a light, natural palette it's just the way these baked products just apply on the skin like it's gorgeous so I just don't feel right recommending it unless you're okay with spending that kind of money for one shade um because baby it's worth it I do it again I'm not gonna lie so that being said I purchased blushes from them that didn't work for my skin tone hourglass is very much that you can't sit with this brand like and it's 2022 still, and here I am in this 2022 still purchasing because why do I have two of them in my cart? I'm trying to see if one's gonna work. <laughs> Cause I'm like, if I can get an hourglass palette with a beautiful highlighting shade and a blush in the same one, I will literally gag to death. Like I have two different palettes um, to see which is gonna work. <laughs> I have a problem and I need to let it go. I also have a thing for face palettes, I'm realizing. I also have the NARS Rising Star Cheek Palette. I just love a good palette. I love Bang For My Buck. It's the same reason why I love Two Piece Sets. Like, a Bang For My Buck, mix and match. I feel like I get more out of it, you know? You know, perfect for travel. Can you imagine? Oh my God. Anyways, but yeah, so that's what I'm getting. And like I said, the, the Beauty Blender Sponge Sets, Getting those two, I don't wanna hear anything about it. When you see me with 18 packs of beauty blenders, it's that deep to me. It is that deep to me. I'm actually getting rid of, of most of my beauty blenders, not all of them. Some of them are, are good. I mean, they're, they're good. They're just not beauty blender. You know what I'm saying? Price going up, okay? Um, I do have some face cleansers that I want to try. I'm kind of like trying to tiptoe back into the salicylic acid cleanser life. That's where I started before I turned to benzoyl peroxide because it was working for me like beautifully and then one day just stopped. So I'm a little scared about that, not gonna hold you. Um, I'm gonna go for a couple sample sizes. Those, not all of them come in sample sizes. I, I want the Murad Mini AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. I'm gonna get that in a mini. I think it's like $16. I'm also going to try the Skin Fix Acne BHA plus Azalic Acid plus Niacinamide plus AHA cleanser. That was a lot of mouth, but that honestly sounds amazing. And I'm really hoping that cleanser works because I feel like that'll change my life. Or I could be out 38 bucks, I'm not sure. But 38 bucks is not bad. Um, I'm, I'm willing to, 35, sorry. I'm willing to try that out to see how that, that, that works in my skin. Especially with the coupon code, come on, 20% off, please. This is the time to try, please. <laughs> I have a couple Sephora, no, not a couple. Oh, that's perfume, I can't tell you guys. Ah! Okay, watch the next video, guys, watch it. Fenty Skin has a new butter, body butter. Best believe I'm getting that. It. It has taken everything in me not to purchase it the second I found out about it. Like, when I tell y'all I have been struggling waiting for this sale, but I'm so proud of myself. Jimmy, my good job for you, okay? Pound the back for not being impulsive and waiting to get a good sale, okay? And we're gonna get that cash back. We're gonna save all our coins, okay? Period. And I told you about the Gwen Stefani lipsticks, right? She has a fire red that I cannot wait to get my hands on. It's called... I'm not sure, but it's fire. 
Also, I don't know if you guys know, but Sephora now sells adult toys. I'm going to be trying some. And there's like other accessories and things like little oils and stuff. I will be trying them. Absolutely. Now they're a lot pricier than I'm used to, but I'm hoping that the quality is a lot better too. Like I have some now, but chow, <laughs> used and abused, dying out. <laughs> so I'm hoping if I invest a little bit more, it'll last longer. Okay? I need something that's built for battle. <laughs> it's hard out here for a pimp. When you know your worth, it's tough in these streets, okay? Um, so I'm like very intrigued by these items, but they're final sale, no returns, which I get, but also like, but what if it's trash? They're expensive. Like one is 125, one is 115. That is pricey. I'm almost like, dang, where's Adam and Eve? Like what's, what's going on? But there's one in particular I'm very intrigued. It's gonna be like a different kind of vibe for me. Like I'm, I'm absolutely going to spend my money on them. Um, keep an eye out for another get ready with me D appointment. You might, you might. I don't. Nah, I'm a chill. I'm a chill. Just know the options are there. Sephora actually has a couple. Go, go look on Sephora. I'm gonna have some links down for y'all below. Um, but Sephora got some options for the girls. Sephora said personal care, beauty care, health care, all the care. And yes, self-care. I absolutely stand that. I believe in your mission. I support your mission. And I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it for today's video. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy uh, my rambling. Let me know what you guys are planning on getting, please. I'm building my cart as I speak. Let me know what you're getting um, so I can get it too. Because I feel like I'm forgetting something. Even now, I'm just like, I feel like there's something I should be telling y'all. And I'm like, I'm not remembering. Like, what? what is a must-have? Um, so yeah, let me know down below what you're getting, what you're thinking about getting. Keep it, y'all, the fragrance one is coming up, baby. I feel like I'm living for fragrances right now. Fall time is my time to shine, please. Woody, spicy, gourmand, vanilla queen, okay? Um, so yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure per usual, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles.